Tonight, as we know, we will have another lecture. As we all know, we have started a new series of lecture about the 14 Masumin, about the Fazail and the history of the 14 Masumin, alayhi salam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. In my previous lecture, we discussed about Imam Hassan, alayhi salam. Tonight, we will discuss about the younger brother of Imam Hassan, alayhi salam. Tonight, we will discuss about another Masum. Tonight, we will discuss about another Imam. Tonight, we will discuss about Imam Hussain, alayhi salam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. As we all know, Imam Hussain is the third Shia Imam and was murdered in the Battle of Karbala after ten years of Imam. He was the second son of Imam Ali and Lady Fatima, and he was the grandson of Rasulullah. At his birth, the Prophet foretold the story of his martyrdom and then named him Imam Hussain. At the birth of Imam Hussain, the Prophet told the story about the shahadat of Imam Hussain and then named him Imam Hussain and then named him Hussain. The Prophet introduced him and his older brother Imam Hassan as the master of the youth of the paradise. The last messenger of Allah, he loved Imam Hussain and Imam Hussain loved our Prophet very much. Our messenger, our prophet, he loved Imam Hussein very much and instructed the people to love Imam Hussein as well. But by reading history, we can see that some people, they loved Imam Hussein, but some people, they had strong hate towards Imam Hussein. Imam Hussein is one of the Ashab al Kisa, one of the participants of Mubahila, and one of the Ahlul Bayt about whom Al Tatir verses is revealed. The, the Ayat al Tatir. Imam Hussein is part of the uh, is part of the um, is part of the masum whose regard Ayat Tatir was revealed. As we know, we have some masum. We have the five masum whose regarded our the verses of Ayat Tatir was revealed about. Imam Hussein is part of the people of them. Imam Hussein is part of the people of the cloak. Imam Hussein was born in Medina on the third Shaban, uh, fourth after Hijrah. According to Sunni and Shia reports, according to Sunni and Shia report, when Imam Hussein was born, the Prophet cried and talked about the martyrdom of Imam Hussein. There are some rivayats about Imam Hussein. Some say that he had six children, upon who were four boys and two girls. But some scholars say no, he had nine children, upon who there were six boys and three girls. Imam Hussein was seven year old when our Prophet passed away. But even in those short years, even in the small seven years he had with our Prophet, he was present in the important events with our Prophet, such as the events of Mubahila, such as the events of Mubahila with the Christians of Najran, and of course, the events of Ashab al Kisa, the cloak. As I mentioned, Imam Hussein is one of the people of the cloak, is one of the five masums of the cloak. It is reported that when our Prophet, when the people, it is reported that when the people, they pledged their allegiance to Imam Ali, as we all know, our prophets had told everyone on Eid al that after him, the successor was Imam Ali. So when the people, they pledged their allegiance to Imam Ali after the martyrdom of Rasulullah, Imam Hussein delivered a speech. Also, during the Battle of Jamal, he was the commander of the left wing of his father, Imam Ali's army. In the Battle of Safin, he delivered a speech encouraging people to come and support Imam Ali. And then he became the commander of the warrior of the right wing of Imam Ali's army. In the month of Muharram, as we all know, Shia, us Shia, we hold a series of mourning ceremonies and rituals for Imam Hussein. Not just for Imam Hussein, but also for his companions. Mourning of Imam Hussein starts within days of his martyrdom. According to a report, when the captives of Karbala reached Damascus, the ladies mourned the martyrdom of Imam Hussein by wearing black clothes for several days. The Imam of the Shias have emphasized the importance of mourning and weeping for Imam Hussein. They also greatly encourage the Shia to visit the holy shrine of Imam Hussein and of course, according to some hadith, proclaimed its merit to be equal to Hajj and Umrah. 
It is said that visiting Imam Hussein's shrine is just like visiting, it's just like doing Hajj and Umrah. Forty days after we merge freedom of Imam Hussein, it is called the Day of Arba'in, on which many Shia visit the shrine of our Imam. It is reported that Jabir was one of the first people who visited Imam's grave on this day, on the day of Arba'in. According to scholars, the family of the Imam who was taken as captive to Damascus also visited the grave of Imam on the same day as their way back to Medina when Jabir was also present over there. The family of our Imam, as we all know, returned from Damascus to Karbobala after one year in captivity. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad.